Back in the day, sailors used knots and fathoms to calculate how fast they were going. Nowadays, we have technology to help us with that. Knots and fathoms were an important thing sailors needed to know in order to help measure the distance and speed of how fast and how far their boat traveled. This is a trial run that we did. As you can see, we're letting the rope go between our fingers and pulling the cart backwards. You can also see how the knots are far away from each other. This trial run is to show how knots and fathoms are used. First, we mark off our starting point using tape. And from there, we measure 14 meters in length using two 7.5 measuring tapes. And we measure twice the distance to get 14 meters between each knot. After we've got our measurements done, we then mark every 14 meters with a vivid marker to show where, where we'd tie our knots. Once we've done our measurements and marking, we then tie our knots. Fathoms are also an important part of what sailors needed to know. Fathoms are used to measure the depths of the water to prevent sailors from crashing their boats into any rock. What is a lead line and what effects does it have on fathoms? A lead line was used to measure the depth of water in fathoms. A lead line is knotted at regular intervals and has a piece of lead in the end to make it sink. A part of measuring knots is with the ship's log. It's a piece of wood shaped like a quarter of a circle. It's got three ropes going through it and lead stuck on it. So you would throw it overboard and because of the weight from the lead, it would stay upright and wouldn't get dragged. You would then feed the rope out and the ship's log would stay there. We threw out the ship's log which will stay there and let the rope out at the speed of the boat. One knot equals to one nautical mile. We're timing for 26 seconds so we'll be seeing how many knots are let out in 26 seconds. 